Hey guys, Kevin from WFL Concepts here, and I got a 2005 and up Ford Super Duty Axle, and I'm going to show you how to uh, remove the pin out of your drag link so you can hold the tire right up to do a nice crossover steering. We have a uh, <clears throat> almost completed axle here with some reed knuckles uh, with a brand new tie rod and our WFL crossover arm that we're going to be installing here later. But here I'm going to show you to remove the drag link and take the pin out. What you want to do is just unscrew the tie rod. Drop it out of the way, move that drag link, and what we're going to do is retain this pin inside your knuckle to hold the tie rod up. So we're going to have to cut this in half, clean it, pop it back in. All right, guys, brought the drag link over to the bench, clamped in the vise, and I've marked it out here where you want to cut. You're literally just cutting it right in half, removing the shell, and keeping the pin. Don't worry about the boot. Don't worry about removing it from the shell. You're not going to use any of that. So. Marked it up for you. Take a cutoff wheel, grinder, and get to cutting. Here's the pin out of the drag link end that we just cut out. When you're cutting through this drag link end, don't worry about nicking the top ball. It's exposed, it doesn't matter. The part you're gonna worry about is the tapered shank in the center that rests below it. So you can cut through it and not worry about it. So clean it off, get all the grease off, bring it over here to your knuckle, drop it in the factory spot, take the tire on, hold the back of it in place, back your nut, torque down the factory specs, little sheet metal castle nut cap put that on with the cutter key you got your stock tire rod bolted back on and then from there you can use uh our debbie for steering arm do a little crossover and you're good to go